Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a research scientist at Machine Medicine, and I'll talk to you about co our computer vision-based method for quantifying Parkinsonian gait. Gait, or walking, is of course a core motor function in humans, but it is often impaired in many neurological disorders, such as Parkinson's disease, or PD, where it ultimately actually becomes a key source of the disability and affects quality of life quite a lot. In the clinic, it's usually assessed using the MDS-UPDRS, where clinicians observe a patient walking away and towards them, and then give them an impairment rating between zero and four, where zero is normal gait, and four is very severely impaired gait. But clinicians are, of course, at least partially subjective, and they often disagree with each other by one point or so. So what we do here is we try to get a more objective measure. So we proposed and evaluated a novel approach for estimating the severity of gait impairment in PD using a computer vision-based methodology. So we collected 766 videos as part of routine MDS UPDRS assessments in various clinics around the world, and then trained the machine learning model to estimate the severity ratings using this data. We used markerless pose estimation. So on each frame of each video, we tracked the patient with various key points. For example, a key point for the ankle. And then we saw how those key points moved around in time and used signals, constructed signals this way. And then from those signals, constructed features. For example, by taking the median or the min or max or coefficient of variation of these signals. Finally, we put those features into an ordinal random forest classifier and it learned how to predict gait severity impairment. For example, one of our features was a step frequency estimate where we started off with a prior and then on each frame, we updated that prior with some data about their gait, which resulted in a posterior. And so after a few seconds, we have a good estimate of their step frequency. And we know it's quite good because we labeled a few videos and we, with this true step frequency, we see that our estimated step frequency corresponded very well to the true frequency. And also with our other features such as arm swing or balance or the smoothness of movement, we see the feature values, they differ quite a lot between different severities of gait impairment. Overall, our results were quite encouraging. We achieved a balanced accuracy of 50%, chance would be 25%. And in almost all cases, we agreed with the clinician plus or minus one point, or we have a accuracy plus minus one of 95%. And as I said, clinicians also often disagree with one another, so that's uh, quite encouraging. We also saw a few interesting things, such as arm swing being a feature that's very important early on in the disease so this, to distinguish between normal and maybe a very slightly impaired gait but it's um, almost useless um, during later stages of the disease where things such as speed or balance or smoothness of movement are much more important to distinguish between very, very severely impaired gait and maybe slightly impaired gait. We also sent a few videos to another expert to re-rate those videos blindly without telling them about either the original clinician rating or the model rating. And we saw that for four of the five cases where our model had disagreed with the original rating by two points, the expert actually re-rated those examples to be more closely in line with the model rating. Overall, we show that we can estimate the severity of gait impairment in PD using a single patient video. These videos were recorded using consumer mobile devices and within standard clinical settings. This did not add any time or cost to those routine assessments as at those sites, those videos were already being recorded. 
So we believe this approach can support clinicians and be used for quality control of ratings by, for example, providing an objective second opinion. If you want to know more about this, please have a look at our poster or contact us at jonathan at machinemedicine.com. Thank you very much.